Hi, today I'll show you how to create a fresh springtime makeup look with coral lips and double wing smoky eye. First, I'm going to mix my two favorite foundations and apply the mixture evenly all over my face. to apply concealer in any areas where you need extra coverage. For my Sedona Lace Vortex brush set, I'm taking the brush number 11 and grabbing some corrector. I'm using the green shade to cover up any redness or blemishes that I have and then the light shade as a highlight underneath my eyes. Then using brush number 7, I'm picking up some powder and setting my foundation and concealer. Make sure to blend anything down your neck as well. Now I'm going to take some of that light corrector and apply it down my nose bridge to highlight it, and then set that with powder too. For my eyebrows, I'm going to take the spoolie brush number 17, brush them out, and then use the other end to fill them in with a Giordana eyeliner pencil. to take a matte bronzer and my number 3 brush to contour. This will make my cheekbones appear prominent, my nose slimmer and my lower lip fuller. Now I'm going to use this shimmery bronzer to give a glow to my face. taking this Urban Decay Cream Highlighter and the number 5 brush and applying it to the top of my cheekbones, down my nose bridge and on my cupid's bow to make them stand out. I'm going to apply primer before doing my eyeshadow to make sure that it doesn't crease throughout the day and make the color pop as well. Now I'm using my Sedona Lace 120 Neutral Eyeshadow Palette and the number 9 brush. I'm going to mix these two light beige eyeshadows and apply them as a highlight underneath my eyebrow, working the color into the inner corner. And one of these colors has a slight pink undertone to it that will show up later and give my eyes more dimension. Then I'm going to mix these two matte light brown color eyeshadows and apply them all over my lid all the way up to the highlight. Then I'm going to take the number 15 brush and pick up these chocolate color eyeshadows and apply them into my crease, creating a V on the outer corner. Now I'm going to take the number 13 brush and blend out any harsh lines. You can also take the brush that we used in our crease and wet it a little bit with a wipe to make the eyeshadows appear more pigmented. So I will now pick up the same chocolate brown eyeshadow and mix it with the black one and place that into the outer V. Now use the number 13 brush and blend it out. With the angle of number 23 brush, I'm picking up that light brown color and lining my lower lash line to make my lashes look fuller. Now I'm taking this sparkly golden cream shadow with my finger placing it in the center of my lids to bring in more light to my eyes. Using the number 21 brush, I'm placing that color into my inner corners to open up my eyes. Now 
Use the number one fan brush to get rid of any fallout. Then using my white eyeliner pencil, I'm creating a wing that extends my lower lash line. Now I'm just taking my liquid eyeliner and tracing my upper lash line and winging it out. Taking my gel eyeliner and the number 19 brush, I'm tracing that wing to make it look darker. I really love how easy this brush is to use. When you're done with the upper wing, Draw a small wing parallel to the first one, leaving the white pencil visible. Make sure it follows the natural line of your lower lash line. Now curl your lashes and apply a lengthening mascara. Curl them again and apply volumizing mascara. Layering your mascaras is a great way to make your lashes stand out. For a more dramatic look, you can also apply false lashes. Using a glue that dries black is very helpful here. For my lips, I'm going to apply a light coral lipstick and then layer a peach gloss on top of it. With the number 25 lip brush, I'm going to blend everything together and create clean outer edges. And now you're done!